Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 20th of January. So starting with the DAX here on the daily chart, we've been looking at this complex correction here as wave four, and we're looking for five waves to the upside here. We're expecting to make a new high above this little guy here, and uh, that's coming into play. So let's go in and have a look at that. So, um, yeah, we've been counting it up as wave one and two here, and wave three and wave four and wave five. It does appear that we have made uh, a new high here, and I can count five waves in this little structure here. So it's possible that we could actually have five of five here. Otherwise, we're going to see uh, either a move straight up from here, and we'll look at how we can go along from that point, or we'll see this up here as wave one, back for wave two, and then three, four, and five here. So let's just go in and have a little look at this a bit closer now. So if you've been long here, then I suggest uh, locking in some profits, and also too, if we are going to go long again, then we wanna go long above this high at this particular stage here. Like I mentioned, we can count five ways from this low here up to this high here. So if I just go to the tick chart and check that. So <clears throat> I'm just taking it from this high here. This, um, so yeah, just from this low here, I can count one and two here and then in wave blue here we've got one and two here and three and four and five here's the third wave the fourth wave and the fifth wave here so we can count five waves in this structure here so it's possible that we've got a top in play here now this here is a little bit complicated. I can see ways that we could count it. Um, but one of the important things here is from that high here to this low here, which is on good support here at the moment. Um, so this is the 50, 60% retracement level. So at the midpoint, uh, at, the, um, uh, at the 530 here, top of group one here, <clears throat> is the 50, 60% retracement level. So we could actually go long above this level here because any breach above that would be above that level here and we'll see higher ground uh, come into play. So that's our long trade here. I don't want to go short because of the support that we're sitting on here. And it's possible that um, we could just pull back a little bit further. So we could pull back. There's a couple of ways we could look at this here. Taking this distance here, we could pull back if we're going, if we're looking at all of these five waves here as something or other, we could either come back to the 38.2% retracement level and then go higher, or we could pull back to this level here and then go higher. Uh, I do think that we've actually got further to go uh, uh, to, to the upside here, um, based on what I can see in the UK market. So I'm a little bit unsure here. So just coming back to our uh, one hour chart here, First of all, we need you may not even be in the market because of you know Friday and Monday you, you wouldn't want to be sitting in there over the weekend and paying well if you're a CFD trader or whatever spread better then you'll be end up paying interest on on that uh, position so um, yeah like I said we've made a new high here um, so I think we should just protect what we have because I'm unsure of what could happen here next with this when I look at the FTSE however. It does appear that we're going to go a bit higher. So with the FTSE here, just in the bigger picture here, we've been over this before, but um, looking at wave three and four here and then looking for a move higher here. So wave one and wave two here. And this little area in through uh, here, um, I'm counting that, let's go to the daily chart here, I'm counting that here as wave one and two here, and one and two here. Now, I don't know if that's correct or not, 
okay um but i'm just leaving it there for the time being it's it fits sort of okay i know that it can be counted uh differently uh as well but um in terms of having wave two sitting over here um but our interest is really with this move coming up uh into this particular space uh here so i'm just going to cut through to the hourly chart here and as you know we've been looking at this here in terms of on the hourly chart here we know we know that we were looking for a new high here because we had a very clear corrective move here so we knew that we would be making new highs here and we are looking at that now so um, still a little bit tricky to count I have to say this is really messy in here and um, yeah I've gone over it again and again and uh, I've moved my wave one from here to here and that would leave us with an with all of this here being a corrective move in, in here, from here to here. So I'm still a little bit unsure about that because it's just not clear, but that's the best I can do at this stage. Um, we were looking for a move up. We had nice support on 6.8 here. Uh, in the bigger picture, we'll be looking for support on 7,650, but uh, in, the, in the interim, we can see that this structure here, this, this move from this low here as wave one and two here, and three and four here, we still need to make a new high here. So that means that the DAX will push higher as well. And also too, if we do look at um, this as wave one and two here, then it's okay for wave three to be shorter than wave one, but that means wave five needs to be shorter than wave three here. So we've just got to kind of figure that out there as well. Um, you know, maybe um, the other point with this too is that all of this could be a wave four in here. We have wave one and two in here and three here and A and a B and a C for wave four here. And then this is the last of the structure here in terms of one and two and three and four and five finishing here, um, finishing at the seven, seven here. So what I was thinking is that we do have a couple of long trades that we thought about building into through here. So, you know, maybe you're still long here. So I think that we need to certainly lock in some profit at, um, at 7,700 there. So that's what we'll do here. We'll just go part profit here. I'll leave that up to you for how much. Um, you can take it all if you wanted to as well because um, we can always move back in because we'd be looking for the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level and then a corrective move here and then up. So our trade would be over here. I mean, I'm sure we can get in lower over here, but we'd expect some sort of dance across this particular level before moving higher here. So um, I'll leave that for you to decide. Um, we could move the stop. I've put the stop here um, because we had the stop down here somewhere, but um, I've just kept it in here under the level here. I just want to see what goes on first. I don't want some spike taking us out. Um, but once we make a new high above this one here, then we can bring that stop up under this low here. But also, too, we need to, if we're going to play the longer game here, then we'll still need to leave the stop out of the way to navigate wave three and four here to get higher here. And we'll also be looking to add back in on that position. So we'll leave some skin in the game and we'll try and navigate our way through this and, and try and build into this and, and move higher from that point. Alrighty. Um, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.